Hey guys, it's Coach G and Kaylee. Today we're going to show you some butterfly guard stuff. So a butterfly to Ashi to a heel hook, also a butterfly to Ashi to a regular foot lock or a guard pass. So let's get started. Butterfly guard. Butterfly guard is when you're going to be sitting in front of your opponent and you're going to have butterfly hooks, which just means that you have your feet inside of their legs, kind of hooking onto the back of their thighs. Your feet are active for butterfly guard, so your toes are always going to be pointing towards your shin. You don't want to have your feet flexed like this because they're going to be able to pass over easy. You need sticky hooks. The other thing, when you're sitting, in front of your opponent. You don't want to be sitting back with your head back, engaging your core, trying to hold yourself up and very easy to just push over. You want to have your head in front of your butt so your hips are back and you're in this type of a position here. You don't want your legs super close together. You want to also make sure that you have your elbows inside your knees so that they can't access all of your inside space and start to um, bring you down and pass. Another thing for butterfly guard that's very important, when I'm going to elevate her, I need to make sure that my shoulders stay concave the whole time. So I'm gonna be having my hooks in, I wanna bring her forward on top of me, but I don't wanna lay flat on my back. So I need to keep my shoulders concave keep everything here so when I fall back, I'm going in a rocking chair motion here. Okay, that's what you want. You don't want to fall back and then you're flat here and you're stuck. So again, arms are going under her armpit. I'm scooting myself in and rocking back, bringing her on top of me. So I'm going to be here, scoot in, up and rock. From here, I cross my arm over Direct her to the side. I get to this ashi position here. So knees are pinched together. I have her leg trapped, the knee line is in. From here, she's not quick to get up. This outside leg is crossing over, going underneath the other leg here. I have to bend in her knee, heel exposed. Tuck the toes into your armpit, wrist under the heel, here, finish the heel hook. Achilles. You don't want to be on the calf, you want to be under the Achilles. 
So here, pinch this elbow back, turn my wrist. That already has a lot of pressure there before you even start to bridge. Another little detail. Everybody always wants to jump over your bottom leg to start trying to escape. So I'm gonna bring my inside leg out and I'm bringing my heel to her hip and I'm gonna scoop myself in close to her. Stretch my bottom leg out, bring my knee down. From here, I turn my wrist, putting that bone in the Achilles, which is super uncomfortable. So I'm not gonna do it for a second. And start to bridge and you get your tap. Okay, so for this one, we're going to get into that Ashi sweep, but instead of going for the foot lock, we're just going to use it for our pass, a guard pass. So, we're here, we're coming under, concave, up, cross under the armpit, reach for the leg, get to Ashi. She starts to stand up, I'm just gonna pinch this, Pinch my knees together, turn my hips, sweep her in this direction. Now, from here, I'm going to pummel under the leg, over, and get the leg back to this side here. Now I come up to my hand, and I'm going to scoop back to come up to my leg, and I'm going to cross into her all the way over to the other side here, securing a pass. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, let us know below. If there is something that you would like to see, let us know in the comments below. As always, make sure to like and subscribe. Someone is tongue-tied today. We'll see you next week on the mats. Us. <laughs>